Welcome to the Rusted Garden. I'm in my greenhouse. It's March 13th. It's Sunday. I've got my neem oil out because I just found white flies on my plants. It's really important that you inspect your seed starts that are out in the greenhouse. Probably not every day, but every couple of days. Look for signs for insects. I want to show you what white flies look like. And I'll talk to you about how I'm treating it too. This is uh, my broccoli plant. This is where I found them. These are actually ready to go into the garden. So I was taking a look at them. Um, and figuring out you know, where I'm going to transplant them, how do they look, all that kind of stuff. If you start looking under the leaves, you can see right at the tip of my thumb, that white mark right above my thumb is a sign of white flies. Now, there's no white fly there. There could be eggs. They're really small eggs. But that is definitely a sign you've got something going on and you need to spray. If I look around, here we go, on this leaf, again right above my thumb, let me get it into focus, that is actually a white fly and I don't know if I move it, there you go it's fluttering, oh, it just fell off, that's good, it'll fall down there and die but that's a white fly and if they're on this plant they're on other plants, let's just take a look at the other ones and here's a better example, that's a white fly right there it's a weak fly, and when I move it, it's going to flutter, and maybe, there you go, it just jumped onto my thumb. So that's an active white fly, so let me kill that. How I treat them is you can use any chemical spray that you want, but you have to get to them quickly. They are the hardest pests that I have in my garden to take care of. I use a soapy water spray and neem oil. This is actually two teaspoons of neem oil and I'm using the Castile soap that I bought a while ago, three teaspoons there. I can't tell you the exact recipe because if you were going to use something like Dawn, you're going to use a lot less than this kind of soap. And the soaps vary. The whole key to it is, is you put in your two um, teaspoons of neem oil into here, oil will float and then you put in just enough soap that the oil breaks up all the way through through the water. And again, I think I took it out of the camera the oil will float right here and you put in enough soap so that that oil will break up and disperse through this whole thing. Give it a good shake and whoop, you want it on sprayer and spray the undersides of the leaves. The soapy water helps kill off the white flies right away. The neem oil will also help. The oil will coat them and I don't know exactly what white flies feed on, but I'm pretty sure that they, you know, chew on the bottom here. So the neem oil, the azadiractin in the neem oil, will also uh, kill off the white fly, but really soak it down. And I'm going to have to do this with all of my plants in here because even when I picked that one up, I saw a lot of white marks on the underside of leaves. I don't want white flies in here. If I leave this alone, don't do anything about it, they will take over this entire greenhouse and cause problems for me. When I go to plant in the garden, I'm going to take them out into the garden. So that's what neem fly, uh, that's what white flies look like. That's how I treat it with neem oil. You really want to inspect your plants in your greenhouse every couple of days and look for problems. Please check out my blog at www.therustedgarden.blogspot.com and also check out my YouTube videos. You don't want white flies taking over your greenhouse. Thanks.